Hello. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how we use the tab bar. We create an app with a tab bar, and uh, we'll use the template that comes with Xcode. So we'll go ahead and create file new project. And in, in here, you can see it says tab application. So I'm going to create that. In the second video, I'll create one with um, manually. This one will use the wizard that comes with the app, with Xcode. So I'm going to call it tab bar um, two. I think I have one already, three, okay. Click on next. Okay, now the difference between the tab bar and then the single view app, now I have already, this template comes with two ready classes. One of them, if you look at the storyboard, you'll look at the, your storyboard here. Let me just change the auto layout classes. Okay, if you look at the storyboard, you already can have two classes. First, view controller. Second, view controller. And you have something called the tab bar controller. So this tab bar controller actually manages these two. And then how it does that, you have tab bar items. When you click on the tab bar item here, it shows you this. When you click on this, it shows you this. All right. Now you can change the icons here and the titles, what you want it to look like by clicking on this one here and go to the property uh, of the, let's double click here. And this is it, the property. When you click on this, you'll see that the system items, there are some that are already preset. So you can say, for example, you can say, this will show you the history. Second one, you can do this. Okay, you can select, for example, top rating. Okay, so you got different view. Now you can make your own. You don't have to use the system items. You can make your own, you'll give it a title. And then you have to get an image. Okay, we don't have an image. Okay, you already so we have some images first and second, but you need to include these images. Okay, uh, these images uh, can come. Um, you can create them outside Xcode and bring them into your application. Okay, I have I think some images already. So let's see some icons. Okay, where are they? Did I close it? I must have closed it. Okay, I'll have it. I'll show you here. I have material. Okay, the image size, it has to be a certain size. You can get the sizes from the human interface uh, guidelines from Apple. So if you just search for uh, human uh, interface guideline from Apple, Apple, and then you'll get the, you get the details. And I'll show you the link in a minute. So I'm just going to include one, one image right now one icon. I'm going to use the 32 copy. And here it's what it looks like. The baby 32. Here's what it looks like. Okay, so now if you go to the the uh, main storyboard and you want to change this one to say instead of top rated, you can say, okay, I want to say baby. Okay. And then you can select the image for baby, and now you got a different image. All right, so that's how you change the tab bar items, and then we have uh, we have multiple uh, screens. Okay, now another thing that you can do here, you can let's say you want another view controller. So all you have to do is drag it and drop it here, and now from here, let me zoom out. You can just right click and drag here and use view controller. Now you got in this tab controller, you have three. And then you click on file, I mean run. You'll notice you have three. Okay. The last one without an image and nothing. Okay. So that's how you do it simply using the storyboard. The last one or all of these view controllers has actually a view controller class, a Swift class associated with it, or an X Objective C class. So the first one, this one, has a class associated with it, which is first view controller. 
right, if you look at the identity specter, same thing. This one has a second view controller. This one has nothing. It has no uh, view controller, so we'll have to create one. Okay, I'll show you how we create one in a minute. But you can treat each one of those as a single view controller. That means what? If you click on the code assist, you will have a class, and you can do the IB outlet, the IB actions, the same thing you would have done, done with a single view controller. All right. So let's go back in here. And the last thing I want to do here, let me show you how we add another view controller for this one. So if I do uh, file, new, file, and to Coca Touch class, click on next, and then let's call this third view controller, okay? And then it automatically is going to put the third for me view controller, okay? So you can say next. And then click on next. Oh, you can't see that, but you can see it actually didn't call it the third view controller here. If you double click on it, it's just a class, another view controller. And then the parent is a view controller. One thing I didn't I didn't I didn't mention, one thing you do when you create a new file, make sure that when you click on next, you make sure you select that the parent class is UI view controller. If you don't do that, you cannot relate them together. Okay, so make sure it's UI view controller. All right. And that was a quick uh, tutorial on how to create a multi-tabbed items. All right. I'll see you in the next video.